Hey, um, I was wondering. Hello. Hey. <laughs> I wasn't sure about hit voicemail. Um. Almost. <laughs> can I come and get a piercing in the next like twenty minutes? Ah! Yay. It not paint out. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I am in my office. <laughs> Everyone's gone. It's over Michaela for the day. We are going to get my piercing as. I said in my last video, which if you haven't watched that yet, I will leave it here. Um, yeah, we're gonna go. Hopefully they let me vlog it. And sorry, my face is so oily right now. But it's happening. The pain was like, right? So it's like you did. It was okay, you got the pain. Definitely doesn't feel great, but it's not unmanageable. No, it's But it's like, this is what they live for. <laughs> Who is they? Who is they that lives for this? Hello, they who live for this. Hello, this is Deacon, the piercer at Wonderland Studios. It me. My new best friend. Yeah. Totally. This is Cynthia. Damn! <laughs> oh, whoa. Right? Ain't that some shit? <laughs> Basically, just kind of helps to keep all your crazy, like, flyaways out of right, our business. The hair. Yep. I heard it. Um, so we're gonna clean some stuff. Okay, it's happening. Hey. So you've been pierced a million times before. Mm -hmm. You know the drill. We're gonna breathe. We're gonna take the biggest, of the deepest breaths mm -hmm. that you got. We're going in the nose and out the mouth. Slow, relaxed, and yeah. We just kind of pierce you at the okay. speed of breath. Okay. Sound like. <laughs> Well, I mean, you're technically cheating. You're gonna know. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not looking. I'm not the type to look at needles when they like okay. are administered. I don't usually look at this point either. It freaks me out. <laughs> Love that. All right, kidding. <laughs> okay. All right, so Ms. Cynthia, we're just gonna take a nice big deep breath in, okay. and slow exhale. Yay. It will not pin out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you definitely tied with that. Famous last words and instant fucking karma. <laughs> not bad. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> okay. Wait, what's my least favorite part? Do like, yeah, yeah doing insertion is never fun. Yeah. Like if there's a part that's not fun, it's that part. That old piece of angle is fun. I love that they can't even see it because it was blocked by your hand, but like the effort was there. You know? <laughs> so they got to experience the thing. <laughs> cool. Oh, right. Okay, yay. So some wow. jerk face has left a whole bunch of little purple marks on your ear. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who. Surprise. Twas I. <laughs> I mean, okay. that's fine. Just gonna get rid of these little guys. And so, for your friends and family and viewers at home, why don't you tell them what this is? Wouldn't it be better if you told them? <laughs> <laughs> so, basically what we've done here is a kind of like mid-cartilage kind of little guy. This is a little top, this is a little four-pronged diamond. Yes. Um, What's the size of the bar that you use? Because people ask me to know. The size that. of the bar that we use today. So if you can zoom in on this a little bit. So I mean, with this I'll guy kind of <laughs> post it up. So we can see this like crazy bit of slack hanging off here. Mm -hmm. This is a 5 16 length. Uh -huh. We always expect there to be a little bit of swelling when it comes to cartilage piercing. So we kind of leave a little bit of length. And uh, so yeah, basically what we use today is about five sixteenths, yes. and in about how long? Six to eight weeks. <laughs> it's like I don't know what you want. <laughs> it's a very leading question. In about six to eight weeks, then you come on by. Yeah. We size it down. Kind of. You told like me that was very important, and I never do. Very it, so. imperative. PSA. Size down your piercings, kids. Otherwise, they heal crooked. <laughs> That's it, man. Uh, cool. We're done. Cool. Yay. I do have one more question and okay. I need to just record it because I won't remember. People keep asking me what the size of like these two rings are. Like this rook one. And these are little incrementally smaller so it looks like it's about 9.30 seconds. The big convoluted answer to how big is my jewelry. Uh, a bunch of weird numbers. Uh, <laughs> also depends on your like ear anatomy. Like your thing might be like bigger or smaller. Now is that a piece that you had put in after it was yeah. healed? 
Perfect. No one would pierce your thing with it. I know. No one wants to pierce the Which I ring. told you guys. I know. So, Looks awesome. This is what you get to graduate to. Yeah, so after you know, like a year. So yeah. keep that in mind yeah. if you guys want it. Definitely initial jewelry, probably something barbell style. Yeah. And so once all that's said and done, then you kind of get to you know those like cute little rings. You've all probably seen them a million different times, like on your Pinterests or like curated ears from like Maria Tash and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> How do you get those impossibly cute small <laughs> rings? Keel them with a giant shit until then. Yeah. <laughs> I have a video, so. You can see when they're ugly. Anyway, goodbye. <laughs> I just got home. It is 8.05 and I'm very tired because the last time I ate was at lunch for work. I stopped by Vincenzo's if you guys live in the Kitchener Waterloo area or if you're familiar with it. They make the best pizzas and you can get them with vegan cheese. So let me just quickly show you. Even though this is supposed to be about my piercings. Also, do you guys like this top? I thrifted this from the patch at Cambridge. If you guys follow me on Instagram, which it's at Inspiro, you would have seen me go there this past weekend. So another thrift haul is coming soon. I just literally posted one, so I want to wait a little bit in case I find more stuff. But isn't it amazing? Like, I love it. It's so good. Let's go finish this video. So... Oh, it's so dark here. You guys just saw me take you along with me to get this piercing, which I hope you guys enjoyed. This is what it turned out like. How cute. I just used my diamond from my previous piercings. In terms of the pain, it wasn't painful, like at all. The painful part or the uncomfortable part was when he had to change it. So like initially you get pierced with a needle and then the needle stays in there and then they have to pull it back through with the post or the bar that is your actual like bar of the jewelry and that part hurts a little bit and then the rest was like fine so this is like one of my easiest piercings ever so yeah on a pain scale i would say it was a two so if anybody is looking to do like a lower cartilage i highly, highly recommend it i had a mini freak out when i was figuring out if it was the right placement once it was done because I'll insert the picture of the inspiration here. I told you guys in the last video that I really just want it to line up with my cheekbones and bring attention to my conch and the long-term plan is once it's healed, I want to switch it to this hoop that I have that I got at Blue Boho. So this is what it looks like. It's literally a tiny gold hoop with some diamonds. I'll leave a link to it here if it's still available. I didn't know if it was like too high or not. Like I feel like it could be two millimeters lower, but I think once I have the hoop in it and it falls nicely, it's in a good spot. Cause when the hoop is gonna be in it, it's gonna take up like that much space, right? And if it's lower, it would start hanging off weird. So I think it's in a good spot. Honestly, if it's not, I'll just get another one right under it and I'll have a diamond and a hoop like I think that'll look sick too I kind of want to do that in the long run so I don't know 10 out of 10 experience loved it um I got some questions about the jewelry that I have so if you guys didn't watch the last video yet I'll leave it linked here um or here I don't this one I don't know <laughs> so I want to just quickly go through all the jewelry that I have because it's literally all on my ears or I have like some over here I got these hoops this weekend when I went thrifting in Cambridge um, but they're actually from a brand called Wolf Circus, which I've been following for a really long time. They're a Vancouver-based jewelry company. And these, I think, are like stainless steel coated in 14K gold. And I think I bought them for $100, which is a lot for something that's not gold fill. But they're a classic, and I really wanted to support a Canadian brand. And I've been following them on Instagram for a really long time. And also, they have Wolf in their name, so like... I just had to. So I have these hoops that are Wolf Circus. I think they're the Gia hoop. They're sold out online, but I'll try to leave links to everything that I'm gonna talk about in the next like two minutes in the description box. In my ear, I have a diamond tripod from BVLA, which I got at Exotics. Um, and then I also have this small gold hoop, which is also BVLA in my Rook. And then I'll try to leave sizes here if I know them. I have this diamond stud, which I also got, which is BVLA. I have a gold hoop, which is in my Helix. I have the jewelry that came with my piercing, which is a curved barbell right now and my anti-tragos, but I eventually wanted to switch into a hoop. And then I have my other diamond stud in my tragus. And then I have this diamond hoop, which 
I bought because I wanted it in my cartilage um, but I want to save it for this lower cartilage and this I showed you earlier it's a little diamond gold hoop from Blue Boho this tiny bar stud which is 14k gold also from Blue Boho it's the tiniest gold stud I don't even know if you can see that I have the jewelry that I wore in the last video which is just these little dangly hoops I just love hoops like I think they're classic and they suit everything and I don't really need anything else it's like so fancy um, so these are from Golden and these are actually gold fill which I didn't know so yay me when I'm not wearing these or these hoops in my ear I like to keep it very minimal and very like dainty so I usually wear this in my right ear and then the bar stud in my left ear so nothing's dangling I like go to sleep in them I don't have to worry about showering like I don't take them off in the shower because they're all gold these ones obviously I would I would like like I went on vacation with these like just very easy and like I don't have to worry about it and it stays in my ears we're gonna do speed round everybody that asked me questions um, there is about 10 so at Bailey MW, hey Bailey, she was like, where do you get your piercings done? Go to Six at Exotics in Toronto, and then now I also go to Deacon at Wonderland Studios. At uh, SPH Conan. Huh? I have them on the screen, I'm so sorry. Any more you'd like to get? Um, well, I wanted to get a lower piercing, and that happened, and I think I'm going to be okay for the next while, because I want to wait for that to heal, and I want to wait for my antitragus to heal, so I can get... The jewelry that I want to get in them and then see where to go from there and see like how my ears look at Michelle Duong hey girl um, how do you take care of flare-ups for your helix so they haven't been bad for a few months now because I got it pierced about a year ago but when it does get bad like I said in my last video I do sea salt soaks and I also use my saline spray at Arlene Ashley M I heard you could lose some hearing with conch tragus piercing have you experienced it I I'm not the best listener, but I can hear well. Actually, I feel like just as a person, I don't hear things well. Like you have to speak like pretty loudly and have my attention. I don't think that they made me lose my hearing, so I think you're good. Um, at Trisha T, are you getting any more and have you changed any jewelry and have they healed? All of the piercings are healed except for my anti-tragus. Um, and it's typical because that one takes like two years. I've heard, maybe three even. Um, and yeah, have you changed any of the jewelry? I have the entire journey up and I'm sure you've watched them, um, but I have changed some things around, but it's all in the video, so yes. I will leave a link to all of my piercing videos and my whole piercing journey here and in the description box as well. At Kimberly Trump, favorite jewelry pieces and combinations, loving your hoops, thanks girl. Um, favorite jewelry pieces, all the ones that I have. The only one I don't really like like for myself is this bar stud because my earlobes are very like fat. <laughs> so that kind of looks like a staple. Like my cousin was like, why are you wearing a staple? And I was like, dude. Anyway, I also just love this diamond hoop from um, Blue Boho. Like everything from Blue Boho is expensive, but... It's such high quality, and their Blue Boho stuff is actually made in their studios, which they have in Oakville and I think Young Street and I think Bloor Street in Toronto. If you're looking for investing in some fine jewelry, I would highly recommend going to their boutiques. You can try stuff on if your earrings or your piercings are all healed too, which I love. At El Du Soleil, what was your most painful piercing? Thinking of getting a tragus, conch, and or forward helix. I am thinking about getting a forward helix on this ear, but I haven't gotten that yet. Um, so I think that my most painful was my anti-tragus. And I think that second to that was probably my conch because it's a really thick piece of cartilage. But it wasn't anything crazy. Like, I think I have a high pain tolerance, but it was also maybe like... Like, my conch was maybe like a 7 out of 10 or a 6 out of 10. So just go get it, girl. I think you should get all of them. If they're on the same ear, you should get all of them at the same time. Let me know if you do. Um, at LHC my, I'm thinking of getting my ears pierced. Should I get it using the gun or needle? Oh my god, never get a piercing with a gun. It's so bad for your ear cartilage. It's so bad for healing. Like, so, so bad. Like, maybe when you got your lobes 
what was I? Even if I went to get my lobes done now, like I would only get it done professionally with a needle and I highly recommend you do that. Please don't go get a gun. Nobody get a gun. Like don't go to Claire's, that's the worst. And yeah, it's gonna be amazing. Um, at Zengi Bengi, did you develop irritation bumps when you had a hoop in your conch? I did, but that was because I was allergic to the type of metal that they use because it was, I didn't know anything back then. I talk about more in my previous videos, um, especially the conch and rook update. Like I tell you all about that whole thing. Um, but there was trace amounts of nickel in the jewelry they use, which is why I swear by titanium when I get my ears pierced. Like the posts are all titanium. Um, so I did get irritation bumps and the hoop also like you shouldn't get pierced with the hoop You should always get pierced with a stud there because the hoop just creates more friction and moves around more So it takes longer to heal So when I switched from the, the hoop to a stud in my conch it healed so much quicker and so much faster So if you're thinking of doing that get a stud until it's like Kind of healed Okay, and then last one, at I Mylene. She's like, yes, girl, do you have more piercing plans? So obviously I got my lower helix today and I am so, so, so happy. Um, but like I mentioned before, I don't think I'm gonna get any in the nearish future, but if you guys think that I should get any other piercings, like comment them down below because I don't, like I would like some ideas, but I feel like I'm in a good spot. Like I might just do additional lobes because I only have my like lobe lobes done like I don't have second or th third holes there but let me know what you think that's basically it I hope you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like if you enjoy my piercing videos because that always makes me really happy to see and if you have any questions please comment them down below and I will try to answer them to the best of my ability please follow me as well on Instagram I post there more than I post on YouTube but I'm trying as you can see trying to post more so anyway, I love you guys so much. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. And yes, I will see you in my next video. Bye.